In anticipation of Ukraine's southern counter-offensive, Ukrainian brigades were preparing for one of the most difficult maneuvers in land warfare. A breakthrough analyst David Axe writes for Forbes, that is the rapid penetration of engineers and support vehicles through earth and concrete fortifications, often under fire, so that tanks and infantry can break through. Last year's breakthroughs were largely a disaster, as Ukrainian troops became bogged down in the densest minefields in the world and then came under fire from Russian artillery and helicopters, the article says. It is noted that this year the Ukrainians got another chance to prove that they can break through and exploit the gap. On August the 6th, about a dozen battalions from eight Ukrainian brigades, Army, Airborne and Territorial, invaded the Kursk region in southwestern Russia. The latest breakthrough, which occurred just a day ago, was almost a textbook example of this maneuver, the analyst said. It worked until it stopped. The Ukrainians broke through but didn't get far. While the drone watched from above and at least one tank loomed nearby, an engineering vehicle made its way over an embankment through a trench through a second embankment and then through a series of concrete tank barriers, the expert writes. He notes that while the infantry was making its way through the gap and began clearing the second trench, the IMR-2 rolled deeper into Russian territory and eventually hit a mine. The initial breakthrough was successful, but any measures taken by the Ukrainians to clear mines beyond the breakthrough were clearly insufficient. The location of this breakthrough is interesting. South of the Russian village of Noviput, more than 30 kilometers west of the main Kursk salient. It is possible that the breakthrough was part of a surprise local operation, perhaps a reconnaissance of forces, before new Ukrainian attacks designed to support the operation near Kursk. He added, Ukrainian troops, who have carried out an offensive into the Kursk region, continue to face difficult conditions and heavy losses. The offensive, which began last month, allowed the Ukrainian armed forces to advance 30 kilometers into Russian territory, but the operation has since been slowed by resistance from Russian troops. President Volodymyr Zelensky confirmed that Russian troops had launched a counter-offensive in the Kursk region. According to the Ukrainian military, the operation is one of the most difficult, with numerous losses among personnel and equipment. Russia has withdrawn its mercenaries from the African country of Burkina Faso and sent them to the Kursk region to counter the Ukrainian armed forces, writes Romadsky, military expert, reserve colonel of the Ukrainian armed forces Sahi Grabsky, explained whether the military contingent of the occupiers abroad poses a threat to Ukrainian defenders. He noted that although the number of these troops is not enough to make a difference, if they can be used additionally, the Russians will take advantage of it. People who are currently serving as mercenaries in private companies are all former military personnel. They have good military training, and in battle they are more useful than conscripts or those who have just been mobilized and have no military experience, Grabsky asserts. The expert added that the Russians either dissolve the mercenaries in separate units of the Russian armed forces or form separate units from them. According to him, Russia has a problem with the military contingent in Africa, since in order for the contingent to begin to report to the Russian Defense Ministry, it must terminate the contract with the company and agree to sign a contract with the Defense Ministry. Because it can send units from Tajikistan or Armenia to Ukraine in an imperative manner, but it does not have mercenaries, the military expert said. At the same time, Grabsky emphasized that the situation with the units from the Transnistria is unsolvable from the Russian Federation. They are blocked there. But the occupiers cannot gather all the military mercenaries from different countries of the world for the war in Ukraine, he emphasizes, since Russia needs to ensure its own interests and for this a military presence is necessary. In addition, he admitted that units of military mercenaries from different countries of the world will not make a difference at the front but will strengthen the enemy. Let us recall that Russian mercenary group Wagner stated that it is not fighting in Ukraine. Their presence is observed only in Belarus and Africa. If the situation changes, the occupiers will report this separately. In addition, it is known that Russia is recruiting Siberian homeless people to fight against Ukraine. In this way, they are trying to cover losses at the front, luring men with large salaries. In particular, the Russian Defense Ministry is offering the homeless a one-time payment of 400,000 rubles and another 210,000 monthly. California is only now heading into the teeth of the wildfire season but already has seen nearly three times as much acreage burn than during all of 2023. Matt Howe, 37, 
a resident of El Carrizo village saw a portion of his house scorched from one of the wildfires. How feels fortunate that he has a roof over his family tonight, he laments the damage the fire has done to his neighborhood. He said, I heard we lost 40 homes, and you know, it's tough being two of the homes survived are ours, you know, and seeing a lot of good neighbors and good friends not have homes anymore. In El Carrizo Village, a community of 250 along Highway 74 in Riverside County, an Associated Press photographer saw at least 10 homes and several cars engulfed in flames. More than 5,500 homes in Riverside County were under evacuation orders, affecting more than 19,000 residents. The bar after we clean it out. Way looking for something to scoop.